joy, passion, all of that stuff. It's just, it's a, it's a rush, really, because, I mean, you playing at the next level. Um, you're getting a chance to compete for a good, just out of a SEC college. You just, just, just blessings upon blessings. You can't, I mean, you, not many people get the opportunity to play at the next level, especially at SEC. They, the relationship is shortcoming, but it's a great relationship. Um, I got on the phone with Pittman, cheesing, smiling, just, we're just kicking it, we're just talking, having fun. And you can't, like, the guy had so much energy, you can't beat that anywhere. That energy was just outrageous. It made me feel welcome. It's already in staying close to my mom. She loves to be close to me. She wants to attend all the games. And they're just, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect fit. I've always liked the Razorbacks, but I'm more of a fan of, I'm not like a fan of a college. I'm a fan of who, like, what the college is about. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the coaches, how they treat their students, how, they, and how they're actually student athletes, how they go against academics and come across like they do what's best for their players and not just for the school. And that is what draws me in. When you know what's best for your players, when you know it's not just about football, you know, hey, you got to be on your academics. It's just a lot of stuff falls in place with who you want to commit to because Arkansas has all the tools that I'd like to learn and it can help me succeed in college. And that's including playing football. Wow, he's just, he all, like, he, he basically just gave me the, you know, just all the whistles. He told me everything would be good about it. Um, and I'm a very versatile quarterback, so he can really, he expands their offense as far as running to throw and to do whatever we need to do to succeed and get in the end zone. It means a lot because just to see my own people behind what I'm doing and what I'm trying to accomplish here means a lot because most of the time you wouldn't get that from an outstate school. You know, you're just, a, you're an outsider coming to their school trying to play versus you're staying home where everybody supports you, everybody loves you, everybody's all about you. That school is all about you. It's just, you the man on campus. I'm bringing leadership, I'm bringing hard work, I'm bringing all the qualities you need to win. I'm bringing, um, I'm bringing everything I have to the table, I'm putting everything on the line. It's, it's college, you gotta compete, you gotta win. Just, um, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. The way I can break down and defeat any coverage, most quarter, I mean, yeah, a quarterback can throw, a quarterback can run, but if you can't pick and peck through a defense, who you throwing to or who you throwing away from, it's it all comes down to three fourths of the works you get on the board, and then the other the other fourth is you got just just do it. You got to accomplish it. You got to complete it. The like even the history behind the coaching staff is outstanding. If you like, if you did your own research, Pittman. He was, um, or he was at Arkansas before, sent multiple guys to the league, uh, and he went to another college, did the same thing, I'm assuming, Georgia. And um, now he's back here, head coach, and he's ready to get things pop, get things back up because when he was here, um, one of my coaches actually uh, was there when he was there. And um, he was just phenomenal. And now he's back trying to, as a head coach, which is even more power, and he's going to be even more phenomenal and do the best things he can do. And that right there, especially when you have history behind a coach that has done phenomenal things to bring more phenomenal things back to you, you getting like the extra knowledge is just amazing. What would separate Arkansas's new staff? Their energy, their way they care, the way they care for their players. They, it's like, it's a true family. They have fun, they are laughing, just they're one big family and you can't, you can't pass that up. You can go to a out of state school and be family, but Arkansas is, is family, like you have dinners at the houses, you, you relax together, you practice together, you go to school together, like all this stuff is just, and you're, like they're all in the hometown, the home city. It's amazing, you can't pass that up, you can't pass the opportunity up. I'm accomplishing, um, I plan on doubling my stats. That's first and foremost, I plan on winning, and we're gonna come together as a team, we're gonna, we all gotta work together, it's all that, um, and we, we work together as a team, especially Coach Bowden would know, we accomplished great things. And I plan on playing as a team the entire year instead of three-fourths of the team. No, we, we're going to play the whole team, the whole game. It's going to be 100 percent full throttle to the fourth quarter, and we're going to win. Can you speak a little bit to what Parkview has done for you in this process to make you a better player to get you to this point today? They're just amazing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, they push every athlete they have every player they have to be the best they can be. They got me going to Clint Sterner, which he helped develop my arm mechanics, my feet. He came back, um, uh, Clay Benberg, he did, he did it all. We practiced together three-fourths of the practice, 
getting everything down. And then, of course, the head coach, he works all the magic. He has, he, he's just the best. He, um, he's, he's done a lot for me. He makes sure we look good, we eat good. He just does it all. And when we do all that and we look good, we eat good, we practice good. He has energy, we have speakers, we listen to music, we have fun. And football is fun. And when you have fun, you win. When you have fun energy, good energy, you win. Mindset heading into Arkansas. Succeed. That's all. I mean, it can, I mean, I know it's vague, but to succeed, you got the it, a lot follows behind that. You have to get good grades. You have to go hard and practice, go hard and wait, go hard, and just be good and try your best at everything you can do. Be 100 percent. Because I'm a hard worker and I don't give up. I don't give up when we're down. I don't give up when we're ahead. I'm a power. It does not, you're gonna get my same 100 percent you had the whole game or practice. Um, just because oh, we dropped one or two. Okay, we're gonna catch three more. You know what I'm saying? We, we're down two touchdowns. We're gonna score four touchdowns. Is it, we're all I'm all about I'm I'm all about finishing. Yeah. I don't care if we're in last or we're in second, we're gonna finish. Okay, you're heading to the SEC, you could have yes, gone sir. elsewhere, right? But what is it about the SEC that makes it just so competitive that you wanted to be in it? Best of the best. It's the athletes. It's, it's every, everybody in that everybody in the SEC has the ability to do something great and when you play against great people, you become greater yourself. When you actually have people to push you to the task or push you um, off your like off your comfort zone. It just makes you better. I'm really excited. I'm always excited when any of my kids commit to, to anywhere and have the opportunity to further their education and be able to play college football on top of that. I mean, that's great. And the SEC as well. So I'm super proud of him. He's worked really, really hard uh, between Coach Benberg and Coach Sterner, uh, Clint Sterner. Um, he has worked uh, really, really hard, and uh, he deserves it. And, you know, I think it's a great opportunity considering that you know, where Arkansas is and who they brought in and the opportunities that he, he will have there to be a, a star player and really make a difference and really help Coach, Pitt, Coach Pittman bring his program back to where it used to be. Well, uh, I've coached a lot of great players. Al T. Tenpenny and K.J. Hill and Martrell Spate and a whole bunch of other ones. And I mean, as far as athleticism, he's, his measurables are really off the charts. I mean, he's really fast. He can jump. Um, not necessarily in all the things you want as a quarterback, but if you're a runner and throwing quarterback, which there's a good chance he probably will be, uh, those are tools that you want. He's going to be he's a physical player. He's like six five, he's you know, two fifteen, um, and you know he's a four 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 five guy. So I mean, he's just got some abilities, some skills that are just not everyone's gifted with, and and he's got his hands, man. I mean, for a quarterback, it's a big deal to have you know hands that are ten inches or bigger. He's got eleven and a half inch hands from thumb to pinky, which right now is the largest hands in the NFL. He was playing in the NFL. It feels good. Um, just see him being a hog, you know. I also had an offer from them too, and I don't really want to, I really, really, Arkansas has been in my heart, so it's about, I really want to see what the future holds. Uh, you're going to get leadership, you're going to get uh, work ethic, you're going to get a, a complete quarterback that can run and can throw the ball and just help win games, and turn the program around. I expect him to come in and just help change the program around, kind of like since when Ryan Mallet was quarterback, but he can run, so it's going to be a different atmosphere for it.